I really enjoyed Disney's live action Beauty and the Beast and I loved the way it even acknowledged and fixed some plot holes and mistakes from the original animated movie. But hidden in the new movie is another bunch of new mistakes. Yippee ki -yay, movie lovers, it's Jan here and in this video I'm going to break down all the movie mistakes, goofs and plot holes I spotted in Disney's 2017 Beauty and the Beast. And if you'd like a chance to win this beautiful hardback book, Tale as Old as Time, The Art and Making of Beauty and the Beast, all you need to do is subscribe and leave a comment about the movie, and also answer the question I'll be asking later in the video. Quick warning, there are some spoilers ahead if you haven't seen the film. The movie's remake of the opening song, Belle, is a lot of fun, but it still has its share of continuity and logic errors. For starters, there's something rather wrong with the town clock bells, as they ring seven of the eight bells before the clock has even struck eight. Now look carefully at the double loop of rope around the horse's face, which as Belle turns to Monsieur Jean magically becomes a single loop. Next, Belle goes over to Jean, and out of thin air appears to conjure an apple, which she gives to his donkey. However, if you look at Belle's skirt as she leaves, there doesn't appear to be a pocket on the right-hand side of her dress where the apple seemed to come from. And the knot tied around Monsieur Jean's donkey also changes when going from this wide shot to a close-up shot of Belle feeding him the apple. Now keep your eye on the baguette Belle bought from the baker which she put in her skirt pocket, because as we get to the next scene, whoops, the bread is gone. This particular mistake might be explained by a scene which was deleted from the final movie, in which Belle gives the beggar woman Agatha, aka the Enchantress, a loaf of bread and a pot of jam. Unfortunately though, even taking into account that deleted scene, this is still a mistake because the baguette still disappears too early in the song. For example, here where Belle buys the jam, which she gives to Agatha with the bread in the deleted scene, the bread is already missing. I don't know, maybe Marie stole the baguette in protest at not getting a mention in the new movie's opening song. Belle's skirt is also a source of more continuity errors. Notice when she starts the song Belle, her skirt is hitched up on her right hand side, revealing some of the white petticoat underneath. The skirt stays hitched up through the song until Belle enters the priest's library where it's suddenly down. As she entered the library, her hand did seem to move towards her skirt, but that was the opposite side of where the skirt was hitched up, and I suspect she was just reaching into one of her skirt pockets for the book she mentioned she was returning to Père Robert. There's a funny moment when Gaston's horse kicks mud all over the three lasses, ruining their pink dresses. However, when LeFou goes over to tell them, it's never gonna happen, ladies, some of the mud stains seem to have miraculously disappeared. Maurice and Belle's horse, Philippe, is also at the centre of several mistakes in the movie. The first one occurs when Maurice is attacked by the wolves, and Philippe bolts with his harness and chain still attached. But when Philippe returns to save Maurice just before the wolves get him, he no longer has them. Next, after Maurice is captured by Beast at the Enchanted Castle, Philippe gets away and runs back home to Belle, arriving dirty and muddy. Belle understands something has happened and tells Philippe to take her to her father, except that when we see Belle riding, Philippe is clean again. It seems very unlikely Belle would have stopped to clean Philippe as she was rushing to look for her missing father. Later, when Maurice leaves the castle, we don't see how he gets back to the town. Philippe is still at the castle when Belle flees and gets attacked by the wolf, so Maurice didn't take Philippe with him. In the original animation, Maurice was sent back on an enchanted carriage, but in the live-action remake, his return to town remains a mystery. When Belle arrives at the castle, she runs up a staircase in a clockwise direction. Notice how she's holding the candlestick in her right hand, which is closest to the inside wall of the stairs. However, as she emerges at the top of the staircase, her right hand and candlestick are closest to the outside wall and she's now running anti-clockwise. Back in town, Gaston gets to perform his big number, but just as LeFou starts singing, Gaston's knife handling reveals a continuity error. Watch carefully how his right hand moves from the hilt of the knife in this shot to all the way down the blade near the tip when LeFou is singing and the shot changes angle. Also during the song, Gaston shoots into the ceiling and a small pile of debris falls down. The song then continues, but from this camera angle, the debris is no longer there. The live action version of Be Our Guest is just fantastic, yet there are still a couple of mistakes in there. The guillotine based joke that Lumiere makes when he chops a baguette is anachronistic, as the guillotine wasn't common in France until the late 18th century, whereas the movie is actually set in the mid 18th century. 
Although the blade in the film is a bread guillotine, Lumiere says this is France as he chops the bread, and the guillotine is of course closely associated with the French Revolution. Also, the chopped baguette piece falls into a little basket, similar to how heads did after executions. And on the menu, there's another French slip-up with the potato dishes, with a spelling mistake on pomme de terre, where terre is spelled incorrectly with an S on the end. And when Lumiere introduces the dishes, he mentions various plates that are supposed to appear on Belle's menu, including beef ragu, cheese souffle, pie and pudding en flambe, except that cheese souffle isn't actually on that menu, it's camembert grillé. When Belle and Beast go for a walk in the castle ground, she recites a line from a poem called A Crystal Forest, which goes as follows, Each blade of grass seems clad miraculously with glass. That poem was penned by a Scottish writer called William Sharp, who was born in 1855 and died in 1905. However, as this movie is set in the mid-1700s, there's no way Belle could have known a poem which hadn't been written yet. The owl we see with Agatha as she's nursing Maurice gives a little hoot. However, the type of owl is actually a barn owl, and barn owls make screechy type noises rather than the typical hoots you might expect from other types of owls. After Belle and Maurice break out of the asylum wagon, Belle rides off to the castle, dumping her yellow dress as she leaves. She's obviously in a hurry as she knows Beast is in danger, but during the ride back to the castle, she somehow acquires a sweater, which doesn't quite make sense because she got rid of it later anyway, and surely she wouldn't have taken the time to go home and pick up something new to wear. So what other movie mistakes, goofs or plot holes did you spot in Beauty and the Beast? And how do you think the movie compared with the original animation? To enter the giveaway for this gorgeous hardback book, Tale as Old as Time, The Art and Making of Beauty and the Beast, make sure you're a subscriber and leave a comment about the movie, and also answer the following question. What dish did Lumiere sing about in Be Our Guest that didn't appear on Belle's menu? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and why not take a look at these 10 movie mistakes that the new Beauty and the Beast fixed from the animated classic, or more of my other Disney videos below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time! Yippee-ki-yay, movie lovers!